undergraduate degree has two types of modules, ones which are compulsory and ones which are optional. So the compulsory ones uh, form the bare bones of the degree, but the optional ones allow students to uh, tailor the degree to what their interests are. Now, for the uh, compulsory ones, obviously computing uh, programming is, is most important. And in the first year, you'll be learning about Python and Java and, and programming those languages. We have uh, several other uh, modules along the lines of software engineering, design, uh, web development, but one interesting one is information security, which I think everyone knows about. Um, in this topic, um, it's not just technical, although you'll learn things about viruses and cryptography, there are uh, issues on, on human interaction. So people often uh, introduce vulnerabilities, so there's issues about um, social context and, uh, and administration that uh, we also cover in that, that, really, in that uh, module. I've learned so much from the course. I didn't know anything about computer science before and so it was amazing challenging myself in a completely different area that I knew nothing about and proving to myself that I could learn stuff from scratch um, and succeed in it. I really like the informal nature of this university, sometimes with the lecturers and I feel that I can also relate to a lot of the students who come from similar backgrounds in terms of some of them didn't have any formal education or some of them have had and they're doing now the second degree or come from other countries or foreign students so I, I feel quite at home in the university. The department is actually has its roots back in the late 1950s, it's one of the oldest computing departments in the world so we do a lot of research. One thing which I was involved in recently was with a PhD student who, in collaboration with the London Ambulance Service, built um, new models to more accurately predict the times it takes for an ambulance to arrive at a scene. So this work was, the thesis was very interesting but also has practical impact. I think one of the most interesting things, um, you can get people from all around the world together in the same uh, different levels or different um, perspectives and people from um, different backgrounds at, at the same time. Share with them uh, the way that they see uh, what we are studying is quite interesting and uh, this diversity makes I think that very, uh, very enjoyable when, you, when you're studying. Within the department, each student has a personal tutor who's the first person to go to see about any issues they have and certainly any academic issues they can help. If not, they can point you in the right direction to, to whoever else to talk to. Um, we have other areas of support, so very recently we started uh, drop-in sessions on Saturdays for students who are learning programming and they can talk to a lecturer there about any specific problems in a one-to-one -one area and we find that's been very successful. There's a lot of things that students get to do after they've uh, completed the course. So some go on to do masters, others go on to do PhDs. Um, Career-wise, some people go into software development, um, network administration, um, database administration. Uh, others go into disciplines outside of computer science. They go into teaching, for example. I certainly would like to write code. Uh, and, and do software development. That's, uh, that's, that's, what, that's, that's an aspect that I mostly enjoyed and thought I might be good at after I finished my degree. Essentially there are two streams for uh, admissions into Birkbeck. One's straight from school through the UCAS system and others which are direct with the mature students and they want to do it part-time. So for the mature students and part-time um, it's best to apply as soon as possible to get into the system. Uh, even if you're not quite certain that you want to do a specific degree, you maybe want to do the data science uh, degree, it doesn't matter once you're in the system, we can actually then help you from there. Uh, but for all applicants, uh, I would recommend uh, looking at our website because we've got all the details about our degree down to the level of what the timetable is for all the, the modules and also to come to visit us. We have regular open evenings throughout the year. Definitely consider computer science, particularly if you're a woman. We need more women in computer science. Um, and don't be afraid if it sounds difficult, because if I can do it from scratch, then most people can too.